Hi guys, it's Michelle here from onlinewithmichelle.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to do a post on your personal profile on Facebook and change the settings so that you can exclude uh, maybe a family member or a friend, maybe their competitors. Um, you're going to be doing a business related post. I'm just going to use that as an example. Okay, so let's say you're going to do a business related post. Um, and you don't want a competitor to see it, or you don't want, let's say you have family members that are not supportive of your business, so you don't want them to see it, right? Well, they're still going to be your friends. You're not unfriending them. You're not blocking them, and they will not know that you did not include them, okay? So all you do, guys, I'm going to show you how to change a current post, okay? So here's the post I did this morning, and let's say I want to exclude one of my friends, so by default, guys, I hope that all of your posts are always going to be public. Always make sure your posts are public because you want your friends, your friends of friends, and your friends of friends of friends of friends. You want the public to potentially find you, right? And it's all about socializing, right? So if you're going to be doing though a business post that you don't want particular people, it is going to change the settings to only your friends. And uh, it, but that's the only thing that I don't like about that is you can't leave it to public. It's got it's going to be going to your friends and your friends of friends. I'm going to show you how to do that. So here it is, this little icon right here, the little down arrow. Just click on that. I'm going to click more. Here's all your choices. Okay. So I'm going to say I want my friends to see this. Oops. Friends accept. But let's say I want to exclude um, Virginia, okay, a friend of mine. Maybe she's a competitor and I don't want her to see this particular post, okay? Love you, Jenny. <laughs> All right, so now, as you can see, it's changed it not to public. It's now a custom. And if you click on that, so your friends, friends of friends, and the tagged friends, anybody that I've tagged, will be sure to see this except for Jenny, okay? So that's how you change it, you guys. Um, here now let me show you something else that's really cool you guys can also exclude a list so let's say I've got uh, people that are on this particular list and I don't want them to see this post so you guys can take like your family members if you have all of your family members on a list you can exclude them from that see that so boom now I'm gonna show you how to do it on your phone on your phone guys all you do is you go to a particular post and you click on this little down arrow right there. So I'm going to tap on that. And all you do, guys, is you click Edit Privacy. It's all you do, guys. And then you want to um, click More and do the same thing. So that's how you do it, guys. So if you got value from that, now, guys, I didn't go into detail about you know, how often should you be posting business related posts versus personal posts, but really 90% of your posts, guys, should be fun, inspirational, motivational, providing pure value, okay? And then maybe 10% of your posts, guys, should be business related and not an outright pitch. People shouldn't know what company you're with when they go to your wall, okay? It, it, it removes any curiosity and they're not going to reach out to you because they're already going to know who you're with, right? So what I do is I do posts where I'm piquing curiosity and sometimes that brings out competitors trying to pitch their product and that's fine. I still want to be friends with them but I, and I don't want to block them. So, But what I'll do is I'll remove them from that particular post like I just showed you. I'll just block them from that post so they won't see any of the comments and they won't see the post itself. So I hope you guys got lots of value. Cool little Facebook hack. Now, if you guys want to learn more about personal branding, how to brand yourself on Facebook, grab my 12-step checklist, okay? Number 12stepchecklist.com or just go to onlinewithmichelle.com and look at my blog and you'll get access to it there as well. So hope you guys have a great day. We'll chat with you later. See ya.